can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? At that point in time. And, sadly, there was to be one more casualty. The death of his friend, his ally, his confidant, General de Chevalier, hit Alexander Kerensky hard. He was in the planning stages on striking back at the rebels, but sadly, on the 8th of June, 2801, he died of a massive heart attack. The worst of the inner sphere had been carried with him on the exodus, and then in a moment of strife, manifested among colonies they had founded, and there would be no going back to the brief peace they had achieved. SLDF veterans, at least those who'd not been forced to muster out, those who had only known and chose to maintain a soldier's life were, for the first time, truly leaderless. The Starlegian exile was now gone, reduced to a series of factions closely mirroring the inner sphere.